Hi guys. Okay, uh, I wanted to introduce my comic book. Um, I know I made a teaser video for it, um, which was quite short and didn't really give much detail away. So this is just a, a, a small example of what, what um, I originally drew up, just so that I had an idea of, of how Innocence was going to look. As you can tell, it's a, it's a superhero comic book, and this is the main character. There are several stages to producing your own comic book. Um, and the first one is obviously to have an idea. When I was at work and I was doing long office shifts, I think because the work was quite dull and quite straightforward, part of my mind would always be trying to create something and I would constantly get these ideas just pop out of nowhere and be like, wow, okay. And I started jotting them down. And that is the main, main thing that you need to do if you want to write a comic book. Whenever you get an idea, you need to have a pad ready just to jot them down. Even a little sketch. Now, I can't draw well enough to be my own artist, um, which is a shame because it would actually save a lot of money. Um, so what I did is I went out and I advertised. I said that this is my idea. I went on a few websites, I advertised, I said I'm looking for an artist, and mail. overnight I think I got you, about you, 30 you, responses. So there is people out there and they are looking for work, and I imagine that it is, it, with that much competition, there must be quite a lot of people out there that it probably is quite hard to find uh, work out there as, as a freelance sort of artist so um, don't be scared if you can't draw that's the main thing that's kept me away from 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 doing this for so long this is my Bible this is what I use to to, to, to write the script from this is what I use to add new ideas to there are ideas in here that I've shelved for future issues. Once I had this folder, I was able to use this to then put the comic into script form. Okay, so one tip that I will give for script writers. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, I thought I'd just be able to log onto my computer and type away and, and instantly I'd know what goes where, what happens. It's not like that. It isn't straightforward because you have to have it in your head exactly what shots and what views are going to look good on paper and also not always will the artist be able to panel it for you so you need to know how many panels per page if it's going to be too much or if you need more or everything you need to know so for me what i did i drew out the comic myself every single page of the comic book so and this is to no detail whatsoever this is all doodles but it helped me so there's an example of one page now, one other problem that was thrown up was printing. How do I get it printed? How much is it going to cost? So I googled it. I found a couple of places. The cheapest place I found, which is still very good for quality, £80 for 50 copies. Printed in exact same style as you would get off the shelves. Glossy front cover, papered inserts. Uh, now that's in black and white because my comic isn't going to be coloured just yet until it maybe gets an interest. If it, if it got picked up, obviously I would have it coloured. For now, there's no need to have it coloured. For me, I can still tell the story without. The cover will be coloured, so that's one thing that I will look forward to. So, really, this is just a plea to anybody out there who's just tapped this into YouTube. Um, I might write my own comic book. Please do. It's there. It's right there. If you don't want to get it drawn up, if you can't afford to get it drawn up, then just write the script. Submit the script. There are so many forums and websites out there where you can get in touch with other people who are doing similar things. It's a very long process. There's a lot of planning involved and it isn't an instant thing. You know, this is what it's all about. This, this is, for me, the greatest thing I've ever took on. Now, I don't expect it to get very far. I'm not expecting any money back from this, but I am expecting to have my own comic book. And for me, that is payment enough. I, I can't really afford to do this right now, but for me, that has been put to one side because I'm so passionate about writing. I was writing comic books when I was six, seven, eight years old.
never once did it actually click in my head when I was at school that this is something I could have done for a living and I wish it had done but it never did. Now I'm settled, I have a job, I blah blah blah. Suddenly I'm thinking I could do that and I've gone ahead and done it. So if you're sitting there thinking you could never be a comic book writer, there is no such thing as never. You can do it. Okay, maybe it won't get picked up, but don't set those standards. Just write for yourself. So, just to pack that all in, get your ideas on paper, get a script off any, any online comic site. You only need to write up one issue, two issues, just to see how it flows. Either draw it yourself or get an artist from online, which is going to be a lot more costly. Have it drawn up, print it professionally, you're 90% of the way there.